you know what I'm doing here. This is the smartest picture in the world and at this rate probably the smartest picture forever and I'm making videos about all of them and you won't believe what most of them have done. Let's go to this gentleman in the middle right here. His name is Irvin Schrodinger and you might have heard about Schrodinger's cat. Yes, yeah, where we have the cat and some poison in a closed box and we don't know if the cat is alive or not alive until we open the box. So it's actually both alive and not alive at the same time. Here's the thing guys, quantum physics is super difficult to understand and my friend right now just gave the Copenhagen interpretation which says that the cat is in a state of superposition. The funny thing is that Schrodinger actually came up with this thought experiment to make fun of the explanation that he just gave. But whatever, the other thing that he did is that he came up with an equation. What was the name of the equation you might ask? You guessed it, it's Schrodinger's equation. This is the equation. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I'm just kidding. Okay, so good luck understanding the next 20 seconds. This is my grade in modern physics, which I aced for fun, but it's probably going to be 40 physicists stitching my video disagreeing with me and then disagreeing with each other as well. And don't skip me in these 20 seconds. Story time will be right after and there's a lot of tea about our good buddy Irvin. But here it is, the time independent definition of the equation, which got him a Nobel Prize and in another t-shirt if I might add. It's basically the F equals MA of the quantum world. Heisenberg's principle tells us that we can't know the exact position and momentum of quantum objects, so if you have an electron in a box, you don't know where it exactly is, but you can guess where it is with probability distributions. This will give us the energy levels of the wave function of an electron, which helps us determine the properties of matter in a quantum system. Bye! Whew, story time though. Erwin Schrodinger was a very smart person and he's probably the second most famous physicist right after Einstein, but you should never idolize anyone. He was a male supremacist. He was born in Austria and he went to Germany because all the smart physicists were there, but he ended up leaving Germany because he didn't like Hitler, very nice. And then he went to Oxford, but they didn't let him stay there because he wanted to live with two ladies, one of them being his wife and the other one being his colleague's wife, which, um, so yeah. And then he went to Princeton, but they didn't let him live there either because of the same reason. And he ended up going back to Austria, which is not a great place to be when you're opposing Hitler. And that's... I'm just kidding, you think that's all he did? No, no, no. He also has research papers about colors and psychology, and he ended up writing a somewhat philosophical book called What is Life? And in it he talks about something, and that something ended up being the DNA, so he's somewhat credited for the double helix structure of the DNA molecule as well. Like and follow for non-useless content.